now that you're hearing, we're getting some of the, the information coming out of this New York Times meeting that Trump has disavowed this particular group. Is that enough for you? Well, I'm delighted that my uh, Mr. Trump has visited my alma mater at the New York Times and said that he doesn't want to do this anymore, but I want to give him a little advice for the future if he does not want to stimulate the alt-right. First thing, you should never retweet someone with the name White Genocide who lists his uh, address as Jew America. That's what he did in February. He should never ask his supporters again to give the Nazi salute, which he did at a rally in March. That's not a good idea. Uh, in July, I think it was a mistake. Wait, when did he say that? In March, he asked his supporters to raise and pledge their support to his candidacy and promise to vote for him. Okay. There's plenty of video of that. You can find that. And then, of course, in July, he retweeted an image of his opponent with the uh, six-pointed Jewish star on it. I thought that was a mistake. But we have bigger problems here. Also in July, you know, he selected as his vice president the most homophobic man in American public life, a person who believes that gay people actually do not have the right to exist. And then, you know, if you don't want to support the alt-right, don't choose as a White House counselor, uh, counselor a man who uses the word nigger, whose wife says wow. that he did not want his uh, daughters to go to a school with too many Jews. And don't choose as an attorney general a man who calls the NAACP an un-American organization and who we learned in The Guardian today went so far as to prosecute. Uh, Charles, can I just hang on a second. I appreciate you going through all of this, but please don't use the N-word on my show. I'm sorry. Well, I, I never use Thank the N-word except when I'm quoting someone who's been appointed by the president to serve in the Oval Office, since this is such a disgusting moment in our history. Um, let me go back to my original question. Currently, the fact that Mr. Trump has disavowed this group, is that enough? Well, you know, if actions speak louder than words, and all of his actions have been things that encourage groups like these, by appointing Jeff Sessions as Attorney General by appointing Bannon as a White House counselor. You can't do one thing and then expect the other to happen. And just peering into the camera on 60 Minutes and saying, don't do it, doesn't seem to be very effective. Harris, let me hear from you. Is it enough for you? First of all, Brooke, I appreciate you um, making that comment about use, the utilization of the N-word. It's highly offensive and inappropriate, and I appreciate that. The second point is this. I believe it is enough. I believe that Mr. Trump has to say these things, not every single time, because you can't go down the list every time some crazy whack job on the far extremist white supremacy says something in support of you. But a gathering this large of people doing these things, which I think might be more of a PR political stunt, is appropriate and it's the right thing to do. Looking into the camera is the right thing to do because at this point, we how, can talk about what happened. How do you feel when he retreats? How do you excuse feel me, when sir, he excuse retreats? Excuse me, sir. Like sir I did not interrupt how do you. you feel about the respect that? I gave you. How do you feel and about so that? And so I'm going to tell you right now. I believe it's appropriate that the president-elect looks into the camera and says, this is inappropriate, stop it, because words matter, and he's now the president-elect. And so he sets the tone, and the things that he's doing, are the, it's, pro, it's appropriate, and it's the right thing to but do. But what about I'm Steve Bannon? What about out. Steve Bannon, Paris, to Charles's point, yeah. and Breitbart, the most prominent platform for what we just showed, you know, the video we just showed, the, the Nazi salute, the, the white supremac uh, supremacists in this country, are you okay with having Steve Bannon as the chief strategist at the White House? Paris. Yeah, I, I'm fine with Steve Bannon being the chief strategist because I trust the president-elect's judgment. But I also know people who work for, let me, just, let me just tell you a quick story. 